హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై పాడ్కాస్ట్ ఫుల్ ఆన్ సెల్ఫ్ మోటివేషన్ అ ప్యాషనెట్ మోటివేషనల్ పాడ్కాస్ట్ ఫర్ యూ దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ జర్నీ ఫ్రమ్ ఆస్పిరేషన్ టు ఇన్స్పిరేషన్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ స్పెషల్ ఎపిసోడ్ బికాస్ ఐ ఎమ్ షేరింగ్ అ వీడియో ఆన్ ద క్యాజువల్ కాన్వర్జేషన్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ విత్ డాక్టర్ ఉమా అరోరా డాక్టర్ ఉమా అరోరా పిహెచ్డి ఇన్ సోషియాలజీ అండ్ అండ్ ఆర్ఈబిటి కౌన్సిలర్ ఇస్ అన్ అకంప్లిష్డ్ ఆథర్ సోషియల్ సైంటిస్ట్ అండ్ ఆర్టిస్ట్ she possesses a diverse range of talents and passions including her love for writing in different genres painting dancing and traveling let's dive into the conversation now happy watching hi good afternoon everyone so live better life and me we are here again and today we have our special guest we have nitya nitya rangrajan who is an it professional who is an author uh who is uh, a teacher and many more things and uh, today we are going to have a live conversation with her a very very interesting conversation uh about books and uh, many other things about her life about the journey what brought an it professional uh, to this uh, platform where now she is an author she is a writer you know welcome nitya how are you doing today thank how's you, it thank how's you it? yeah yeah so, it's great uh, uma thank you so much yeah so please share so uh, you know, everybody where you are from and uh, you know just share uh, something where you are currently yeah sure sure i'll tell that uh, i am from chennai basically i grew up in india and uh, i had multiple interests uh, right from my childhood so i used to ask my mom to uh, i mean sir uh, put me in some classes you know for learning uh, new languages or uh, for learning uh, music dance and all but nothing happened in that time uh, because we were in a very remote, remote location actually and then uh, as i grew up uh, that became passion and multiple passions for me so i thought i have to follow everything so after crossing my 40 i thought okay i will start this now so that's why i moved from um, it industry to uh, teaching industry that's my childhood passion i love teaching children and um, i am a communication ielts pt trainer also so that was very interesting teaching professionals uh, and then wow. last year in 2022 i was actually thinking of trying something new i know i've been uh, writing uh, poems short poems uh, short stories and all since my childhood but i didn't take it seriously and mm-hmm. uh, last year when i thought okay i have to try something new i want to improve my writing skills other than blogs i want to write mm-hmm. something so that time i came across an ad in fb where uh, they have men- they mentioned about this uh, book writing so i thought okay let me give it a try i was not very sure whether i'll be able to make it because that was new for me completely new uh, so i got into that and uh, with the guidance of my uh, mentor uh, shweta samota and uh, the efforts i put in um, i was able to write my uh, first book and publish in uh, september 2022 wow so that's my author journey okay and uh, uh, what, what is your book about uh, i know it's about on motivation and uh, you know many other yeah. things so just share a brief about your book introduce us to your book now that uh, uh, what is there uh, sure. what it covers and uh, why no it's so important to read that book yeah sure uh, when i was finalizing the book idea i had just one uh, thought in mind uh, i have to write a book on self motivation because i am completely um, filled with self motivation that's what i would say uh, so i've always been uh, independent uh, that's what i learned from my mother i've mentioned that in my uh, other uh, meetings also in podcast also so i thought okay i have to write a book on self motivation which is very important for all women not only women for everybody so i thought let me try write my story itself so that will be easy for me also as a beginner as an author and uh, for the people also who read no they will know that okay this is true okay so this is possible so that's why i thought i'll go with self motivation as my uh, book idea and the topic is uh, the five secrets to sustainable self motivation uh the protagonist is aviba this is a non fiction book but still i have made it uh, in a story format uh, so that it would be interesting for the readers to read and mm-hmm. uh, here uh, she wades through different uh, struggles in life with self motivation and in that journey aviba finds out five secrets to sustainable self motivation and uh, this is my book wow. i hope you are able to see it uh, yes yes yeah. so i'm so fascinated with the cover 
you know the uh, the girl <laughs> standing with her hat and uh, no it's so tempting uh, that's how yeah. the the cover itself uh, drew my interest to the book you know i won't say that you please reveal the five secrets because we all want to read the <laughs> in the book yeah but it's more about how how did the idea of viva came is is viva you or is is viva someone in your uh, environment Actually, Vibha, the protagonist is um, actually a combination of me and um, other people I met in life. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wanted to bring everything in, and uh, because I have seen people uh, uh, come uh, come out successfully with uh, self motivation also. So mm -hmm. most of it is, I think, eighty to eighty five percent is my story, and fifteen percent here and there, whatever I saw in others' lives, I put everything into Vibha, and she'll be taking care of the whole journey for the reader. Right. Great, great. And yeah. uh, uh, the motivation aspect, you know, it's so important because we all, uh, like I read somewhere and somebody said that uh, nobody can motivate you. It has to be something yeah. uh, we have to instill in ourselves. And also, you know, right. motivation is something, it has to be self-generated. Nobody, like right. we can get training on motivation, we can get, uh, you know, others to, like it's like a skill. Which needs to be yeah. so. Can we say that we can uh, we can uh, motivate someone else? Is it possible, or is it something we have yeah. to you know self generate? What is it? Like, what do you write in the book? Uh, yeah, uh, here uh, Vibha is actually concentrating on self motivation, but motivation, external motivation, is definitely possible because during the childhood, no, we might not know that we are actually motivated to do something. See, out of interest, we might do. But some uh, things that we are not able to do, our parents keep on telling us that, okay, if you do something like this, it's good for you. So that external motivation works a lot during your childhood. Even otherwise, okay, even when you grow up, external motivation works. But the best thing to do is intrinsic motivation, that is self-motivation, because you need not depend on anyone, because nobody has time, right? Everybody is actually busy in their own journey. So it's better to uh, generate that motivation within yourself there are many factors to that uh, self motivation it does not come in a day so uh, you have to have uh, self confidence positive thinking you should be uh, full of gratitude all good things you have to be true to yourself all these things play an important role in uh, getting that intrinsic motivation external okay it works to certain extent i i'm okay with that but i have found personally that only self motivation has helped me because i need not wait for anyone I'm just going ahead in my journey. So right. not uh, when we uh, depend on external motivation, sometimes we try to put blame on others. See, nobody is there to motivate me. So that's why, no, I'm not doing it. So these are some lame excuses we try to give. So right. if you want to achieve something in life, you want to reach your goal properly, then always go with self-motivation. That is a sustainable thing. And uh, the beauty about this self-motivation is it is easily sustainable. And mm. there are five secrets to it. And that's what I have discovered myself uh, in my life. And uh, I've given that in the form of a book. Great. Yeah. So it's a non-fiction book. You know? And, uh, yeah. you know, uh, uh, and we both of us are part of this uh, one group. You know, it's a Indian Author Academy. And recently yeah. something happened. Uh, uh, you know, what <laughs> happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's special for all of us. Uh, yes. So I received uh, Indian Author Academy um, Author Award and uh, yes. IAA Author Award. So that's really yeah. uh, special for me uh, because author is a new identity for me. So uh, I am an IT professional, trainer, teacher, all these things are fine, but author is something uh, different. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. I have to first uh, thank my uh, mentor, Shweta Samota, for that, for giving me that uh, award. And um, I'm really proud to receive that and my family is really proud uh, to see. So we were all watching that uh, program no, when I was receiving the award. Uh, so that's something uh, special. And receiving from your mentor is, again, uh, another uh, point uh, to be noted. So uh, that's something great. So I, I think it's inexplicable now. So, and uh, Uma, what about you? You also received that award. So can you tell me about your experience? Yes, so uh, it was great. It was a wonderful experience. We were all together yeah. on screen, and uh, when Shweta, uh, uh, Shweta, our mentor, Shweta Samuta was announcing our names, and it really felt like you know, as if we were receiving Academy Award or something. You know, like actors they receive. Right. 
and uh, from from nowhere like we are not ordinary people your housewives or we are in our own professions uh, 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 like uh, mothers grandmothers wives uh, we are sister whatever now we are playing those roles but as author we are all universal and we are on yeah. a platform where we are uh, in touch with our sensitivities we are writing from our heart we are expressing you know what is inside and as you mentioned of we are more self motivated to do something yeah. and when somebody acknowledges or when you know together we acknowledge each other's uh, achievement it was a great feeling you know uh, although we've not yeah. done much but i've done i've just written two books like you have written two books and uh, if i'm getting appreciation for that it's so wonderful you know and uh, yeah, it's a uh, like you know, uh, so i received the award for uh, my two books one is emotions how to live an emotionally effective life uh, i think most of you know about it it's on kindle it's also on yeah. paperback and uh, the second one is shades of life this is a poetry which i uh, brought about uh, you know last week and uh, it was it was really of course challenging uh, but uh, in a good way you know and uh, once yeah. you start looking at challenges from the perspective that uh, you know to give them meaning the challenges need to be given a meaning they they should not come in our life in vain if challenge has come yeah. we must overcome and uh, feel happy about that you know we have changed something exactly. you know the the residue of the challenge should be happiness No. so that's what yeah. uh, uh, you know i feel and so, this award meant a lot uh, to me from that perspective and uh, i feel happy that the book is acknowledged my both books are acknowledged you know so yeah thank yeah, you yeah i read your book uma it's great actually i loved the uh, comparison the analogy you have given um, about uh, uh, the negative emotions you know so yes. where the seed itself is toxic and uh, slowly the tree grows into a toxic yes. one and it spreads toxicity so that was really good and the way you have uh, mentioned about that uh, dysfunctional uh, emotion state i loved that so can you tell us you have a special formula for us no in that yeah. can you tell us about that Yes, yeah. Thanks. Uh, really, I never get tired of explaining my formula. No, it's a uh, it's <laughs> EQ plus MS is equal to pH. Uh, so this is yeah. uh, uh, like in a non-fiction book. I was told that why you're putting a formula, nobody relates to formula and things like that. But I'm so happy that when I uh, brought it out in the book, everybody is receiving it and everybody is connecting to the formula because emotional quotient plus mental health is equal to pH. You know that is physical health. Mm. and everybody around if you see today is uh, striving for a good physical health you know there is so much illness yeah. happening around and uh, covid has taught us that what we need to build on is immunity and uh, this yeah, book true. came about as a result of covid itself because during covid i experienced this that uh, because as a family we were together we were doing a lot of exchanges uh, uh, emotional exchanges we were able to bring out you know the inbuilt uh, emotions and through that uh, mm. you know we were uh, uh, yeah. we were standing tall in front of a challenge which was remarkable mm. and also we were forging a good mental health you know so both things together mm. kept us uh, kept us in good health there was no medicine mm. we were taking nothing we were doing and uh, that brought me to uh, ascertain my uh, long time found this formula ki emotions mein sab kuch hai you know agar if we are feeling good yeah. then we can have better good health but the real formation of it happened during that time and as a result you know when i joined uh, shweta sumitra's uh, class to write a book to become really focused uh, i could bring out and uh, the book came out yeah. in one one week no and of course mm. rest of the time it was polished and researched and everything but the formula itself came uh, bang on you know because uh, mm. emotions is everything and here yeah. i also uh, uh, about emotional quotient in the sense that emotional quotient is nothing but being assertive being happy mm. having like so many positive aspects of your life and emotions yeah. is something you can connect to immediately you right? know thoughts mm. is something uh we cannot control no? that's after yeah 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 correct hai na but emotions so i can is... see how passionate you are about <laughs> your book i can see that so yeah. you have got many things special for the reader so apart from this formula i'm sure you have got many um, other things for the reader as, as well so because being a reader i found many good things in the book 
so uh, i am also getting reminded of something in my book uh, as you said you have given a formula i have given an acronym for the uh, readers so yes. that is smile so that smile has all the five secrets so uh, once they go through the book they will know what is s what is m what is i and what is l and okay. so i think wow. uh, once what i am realizing now is uh, see once uh, we write a book on a topic which is uh, completely ingrained in us something which is deep within us it becomes um, all the more easy for us as an author and we always keep a reader in the mind and we want to give yes. them uh, something special right yes. okay great great so when you were talking about uh, uh, gratitude uh, and uh, positivity and motivation and all so i was uh, getting uh, reminded of uh, my second book and yours right because yes. yours is on poetry something really important uh, for all of us uh, so can you tell us uh, something about uh, your second book also uma yes so uh, my second book is uh, shades of life it's uh, in a different genre the first book is of course non fiction and uh, mm. self help it's more like a self help book uh, but then during that time i wrote many poetries you know they are these are emotional mm. poetries and my book is on the book is also on emotions so i thought that i need to share it share it with my readers uh, with others you know because the sensitivity that we all feel within us comes out in words and uh, i think we all should become poets i feel there is no uh, i feel you you can be really creative uh, when you are doing many things as a as an author you know we should not restrict ourselves like we recently had yeah, this rabindran on sunday and yeah. we learned about right. rabindran tagore how he was a versatile person we cannot say that he didn't write fiction non fiction poetry you know essays articles everything uh, serious matters philosophy of life and uh, as an author i felt that i can write uh, you know i can go ahead and share this uh, poetry um there is one poem shall i share one poem with you here yeah please please whichever is special to you i'm sure every poem would be special but yeah. something special right? yeah extra special <laughs> all are special you know for author every word is important yeah, that's what it's very difficult yeah. to say ye part book ka acha aur ye book ka acha nahi hai but still there are some things you know which which express more you know and yeah. uh, 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 in this book there are actually five topics i have covered uh, uh, from self to mother nature uh, then uh, there is on relationship me and you together and life philosophy uh, but there is one poem uh, an acorn you know which is very close to my heart and which is something like emotion something like my formula also it talks about so an acorn is like a, it's a seed you know acorn so uh, what i write here is that up on the mountain top of the mighty himalayas there stands a pine tree it is so strong it is so sturdy yet so serene it neither seems forlorn nor solitary it neither seems fatigued nor desolate years ago when it was very tiny falling from a mighty tree it found its way and went down under into the darkness of its own living in solitude for time immemorial it finally won over its darkest fears and resolved to see the light again it pushed hard above and harder below to break through the hard soil all around it was not easy it had to learn many lessons more so to fight alone sending roots to dig deeper it struck out one day to hold on its own seeing the sunlight was quite startling facing the heat must have been daunting the storms were a plenty the rain and winds were not far behind it was then it looked in amazement at the mighty tree to which it belonged the wish became stronger and it gained strength the dream of survival became a mission for the future i have to face storms i will not give in to defeat only then i too will have a great story to tell it braved many ice storms avalanches and above all the axes of many men to withstand and nurture new life to absorb the poison and create an elixir for all the winds carried legends spread many stories for incalculable decades never forgetting its fight for a moment 
waited with bated breath for another one to fall and carry with them. The mountains, the streams, the suns, the clouds, all sang the song and celebrated the life of an accord. So very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. So uh, there is a special style I've used uh, in this book, um, uh, okay. which is very close to my heart. Like I begin the poem uh, and the end the poem with the same word, you know, or the title. Yeah, like the poem is title that, yeah. on, and the last line, last word also is on account. So in between is yeah. everything happening, you know, the thoughts, the emotions, everything is happening in between. You know? So all the most great, of the poems great. are done in this time. So it's not haiku, but something on those lines. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So so thank it's you. It's really interesting, Goma. Yeah. Something yeah, you yeah, want. It was to interesting. Our second book. Please share about. Yeah. It's a it's a journal, I think, and very beautiful yeah. one. Please show us. Yeah. 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 Sure. So I have published that as uh, paperback in uh, both uh, color and black and white. So this is my uh, journal. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's not very clearly visible. Okay. Yes. So, I think maybe this one. One is color, yes. one is black and white. Okay. So, here in this book, uh, it's a journal. Uh, the message here is uh, two minutes in the morning can determine your 24 hours. So, mm -hmm. that I have seen for the past uh, few years. I've been following this morning routine and it has actually helped me grow as a, a person and get that fulfillment in life. Mm -hmm. So, I get up in the morning, spend two minutes in the morning. And after that, I, uh, my day is actually under my control. So I'm not affected by uh, negative feelings and all. So because I write down in the journal. So that's really good. And I thought, okay, let me share it with others so that they also benefit from this. And uh, here it instills uh, gratitude, positivity, motivation, how to plan for the day, and then uh, set the goals. All these things are there in the journal. So they can practice this. Uh, this will come for a month. So just to get them habituated to that uh, uh, habit, the writing habit of writing the journal, I've uh, published mm -hmm. this book. So once I get the reviews, I guess um, already some of them have told me that it is good. So I made to get the reviews published uh, on Amazon. Uh, so let's see how this see? goes. And uh, no, yeah, no, it's let's see how this goes. And, and then yeah. I think journals are uh, really in thing yeah, these days, you know, journals are uh, really. Uh, Everybody is looking for a yeah. good journal and I'm sure like I have this habit of writing a diary and I will definitely, uh, you know, I haven't yet got hold of your journal, but I'm definitely tempted to, you know, uh, get it uh, today itself and uh, just tell us more, uh, more coverage, uh, you know, in the journal. Like it's, uh, see, morning routine we all have, uh, we all follow. Yeah. And as Robin Sharma says, you know, the 5 a.m. club, you know, the 5 a.m. Yeah. club. Yeah, so you get up at 5 a.m., then you have the first hour to yourself and this and that. But how do you manage to find time to do all that? Do you write? Okay, you so here that? only, yeah, only two minutes uh, in the morning they have to spend. So once they get up from the bed, as I do, I generally do like that. I get up from the bed, immediately write this uh, morning journal. So that gives me the energy for throughout the day. I'm there with the same energy level. So that's good, actually. Otherwise, on high energy, it doesn't go low. So it's always good to start with that two minutes. So that's why I thought, okay, I'm just spending two minutes. But this two minutes is actually good for me. You know, I'm able to uh, work with this uh, energy throughout the day. So there is no problem with that. Uh, see, I'm going through a lot, uh, if you see in the background. So, but still, in my life, you know, uh, though there are many struggles, I just keep them at the back side. Okay, so I don't mm -hmm. really think about them. I ignore them and then focus on something good. So this uh, book writing and uh, journal writing has been really um, a phenomenal uh, for me uh, in terms of uh, making a change in my life. So this journal I wanted to share with everybody because they have to just spend two minutes. And I'm just asking them to get into the habit of journal writing. So this is for those people who want to get into the habit. So they have to have these uh, five elements uh, in the morning itself uh, set right for them. And then the day will be really good. And I'm giving uh, many gifts also to them for those who buy this book. Uh, they have, they'll have they be getting um, affirmation posters, uh, e-posters, and um, uh, many other gifts uh, which I've um, uploaded. And I've kept it exclusively for the people who are buying this uh, journal. 
so so that it will be encouraging for them so and they'll also get a certificate so that's a secret wow. i was keeping okay <laughs> so yeah so that okay. is something i wanted to encourage them so that motivation is uh, again coming in this also and i think in my next book also i'll be talking about uh, motivation and uh, self development okay so yeah. this uh, you know this idea that you are sharing that the first thing you get up in the morning and write journal so uh, uh, how it is that you know bas uthte hi aankh kholi aur ek tarah se kya aisa something like that yeah yeah that is better actually because otherwise you no know, you get other things in life If oh. then your friends you have to keep yourself as priority only then will you be able to take care of your family anybody for that matter not only mm. women i'm saying everybody yeah. they have to start writing this journal because the moment you write the journal you get yourself charged up and then you go and do your duties and other things in life so uh, i think that should be the first thing you are just going to spend 2 minutes and this is going to decide your 24 hours it is like the song you know if in the morning if you are here, listening to a song the same song keeps coming to you know every keeps, keeps playing in the mind your, yes. yes yeah so something like that so that 2 minutes when you feed it with positive before the mind could think of something negative when you feed it with positive it is completely filled now so you will be filled with positive energy so that's yeah. the idea yeah but sometimes so it happens hmm. yeah hey, tell me tell me yeah yeah please ask what were you saying hmm. now i was uh, wondering uh, what uh, what about your journey as an author uh, now you have completed two books and uh, when i talk about positive energy i can see that energy in you so i thought okay let me ask you also what are you doing i am writing my third book and i am working on my podcast and uh, other things so i wanted to yeah. know what are you doing what uh, is your journey as an author yeah so uh, it's been very exciting till now and uh, i've already <laughs> planned my third book but then that is also going to be in a different genre you know it's a uh, it's a uh, so i'm not following the same pattern like mostly authors uh, you know have the same kind of books uh, uh, one, one book after yeah. another uh, but i'm kind of an experimental person and uh, uh, these books just come naturally to me you know? so uh, the first book is non fiction second book is poetry but the the stream the thread is same and the third yeah. book is actually uh, a book which is very close to my heart because it was a book i wrote for uh, to be published as a first book uh, but then the emotions oh. book happened so and that book needs some more polishing okay. some more time so i'm giving it you know aram stay around i want to give okay. lot of um, i want to give it lot of love you know uh, different mm. kind of <laughs> you know, we all love okay. books the ones we create yeah. like uh, like this book is uh, very loving very close to my heart uh, this book is very loving very close they are like our babies you know books yeah, yeah, yeah. true true so uh, but this third book is uh, a very different it's kind of a adventure it's a uh, not children's mm-hmm. book everybody can read it but it's more of an adventure and uh, okay. i'll be publishing it in uh, next uh, this uh, june and the target is to complete okay. it by end of june and uh, polish it and you now bring up uh, the a wonderful cover and everything so that journey and uh, alongside that of course um, there are other things we keep doing like i paint and uh, i'm yeah. focusing on some dance or things like that so those interesting things keep happening in life what are your other yeah. interests nitya what do you do besides the uh, i on a regular yeah, day I, how's your regular day like yeah i get up in the morning uh, do this morning journal and then uh, uh, at the usual duties of uh, homemaker i would say <laughs> and then <clears throat> after that i uh, sit for uh, writing my books podcast i listen to music i sing i dance and wow. uh, i love uh, listening to audio books and whenever wow. i get time i would like to uh, take some uh, photographs and i read magazines i love reading magazines and uh, uh, most probably these are the things i do i watch tv very less actually i just watch one uh, serial uh, that is uh, means it's uh, full of humor tarak mehta ka uta chashma i love that series yes. so we all love we all love tarak mehta yes yeah so yes. that's something wonderful in my life because it has helped me learn a lot uh, in life so it resonates well with my thoughts also full of mm-hmm. positive energy there so i love that i watch that also every day i try to watch that 
and uh, i talk with my friends uh, so at least one friend a day uh, so mm. my school friends or college friends or mm. some somebody whom i have not spoken uh, for so long and i speak to my mother so mm. i feel spending time with uh, family is uh, the most important uh, thing yes. i can do and that's how i spend my day Yes. Goes on. Great. So many things to yeah. do for us, so generally. Yes. Yeah. A lot what about of your hobbies? So I, uh, you know, there is always a lot on our plate as authors. Uh, we are yeah, continuously, uh, continuously collecting data. You no, know? like sometimes I feel I'm a computer. Yeah. We are always getting data, and <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and like it's input output, input output, and for input uh, you have to have your own time. You have to have your own thought process. uh then so for input you have to meet friends you have to meet people you have to you know interact with people and uh, that's where you create value you know as an author what is the purpose of our author journey you know to create value to give um of course our life some meaning and also uh, you know help many other discover themselves so the yeah. purpose of my author journey is to really uh, feel empowered myself and also through my own example help many women because what i see why the emotions book happened was because a friend of mine she was so uh, you know uh, disoriented uh, because of her personal uh, life and uh, mm. uh, what uh, the the her story is there in the book if we have time i think 5 uh, minutes i'll just quickly read the story it will resonate yeah. with everybody so in the book i've written mm. the emotions book i've written many uh stories or uh, almost on every fourth page you will find a story so this is about interpersonal okay. personal relationships yeah. you know that is core to my life you know i really uh, want to create value in interpersonal relationships uh so here uh, i write that for true happiness and a high emotional mm-hmm. quotient learning the art of interpersonal relationships is a must the base of interpersonal relationships is rooted in one's childhood as you also mentioned you know it's the childhood where the seed goes and our yeah. interpersonal relationships develop from there uh then uh, but as we grow you know our attitudes make a lot of difference as we learn attitudes from others and everything so do we worry constantly about what happened to us in the past or do we look forward to creating new future so these questions are very important to ask ourselves why one suffers why would one continue to suffer and silently become a witness as life goes by why is one unable to take timely action so uh, once it happened that uh, a, a, a friend came and she asked me that my mother uh, you know she was really troubled and uh, she yeah. said that i feel so powerless first thing she came in she sat down she cried and she said i feel so powerless and i asked that what happened she said my mother in law wants to eat dal bhat roti shak so this is in gujarat you know i mean from surat i mean gujarat so here dal bhat roti shak the rice dal and roti sabji every day meal so uh, she mm. likes to eat that but this uh, lady this friend of mine she did not like it to eat every day so i told her that all you have to do is tell your mother in law not to cook you know dal bhat roti shak roz mat banao rone ki kya baat hai mm. isme so then uh, she said that it's not my mother in law who cooks food i cook so i said when you mm. cook then yeah. you stop cooking all that you have to do is stop it don't cook yeah. it <laughs> or cook something else you know <laughs> and uh, this is what i write yeah. in the book she was so stunned when i told her this alternative you know she was so uh, like she was so emotional distraught with her own life suffering mm. that this choice had not mm. occurred to her कि मैं ये नहीं बनाऊ तभी चलेगा बट आई नीड टू इज दैट मिजरी दैट वी एनवेलप आवर सेल्फ इज सो डीप दैट इट बिकम्स आवर मेंटल हेल्थ एंड आवर सेल्फ अवेयरनेस की दूसरे ऑप्शन है टू द मोमेंट आई गोल्ड आर आईज ओपन एंड शी सेट हाँ मैं तो ये सोचा ही नहीं कि मैं कुछ और बना लू या उनके लिए ये बना दू अपने लिए कभी कुछ और बना लू so yeah, uh, that's what and, uh, so this is how you know we are uh, all emotionally uh, enveloped uh, and that is how, how because of all this you know she was so much stressed and uh, she had so many pains like yahan dard hoti hai ye hota hai mere se ye nahi hota i don't feel yeah. energy and the moment this shift came in her life and she started cooking every day something that she likes to eat along with that what family yeah. likes to eat 
her life totally changed you know her uh, yeah, uh, you know, her became normal her uh, uh, you know all her levels whatever like she was having mm. a B, uh, this uh, b12 kam tha yeah. b3 kam tha then many other small <laughs> small small things but they all uh, good good <laughs> So, so I'm also getting reminded of this uh, when you are saying this uh, in my book. Uh, I pra- I actually practice this uh, whenever I face uh, struggles. No, uh, as you said, when we are in a stressful condition, we shouldn't take any decision. Generally, people say that that's very true. So what I do is whenever I get struggles, I keep calm. So I am known for that uh, in my uh, family circle. So I keep calm and I first ask myself a question, and that's what I've written in the book also. so should i uh, smile the should the challenge smile at me or should i smile at it so always uh, my answer would be i should smile at it so that's yes. the question viva also the protagonist viva also goes through throughout the book you can find that whenever she encounters struggles she asks this question to herself so when i mm-hmm. ask the question sometimes i have also answered let the problem smile at me let the challenge smile at me even i have uh, faced such situations but i have always uh, tried to come out of that mm-hmm. i don't give any lame excuses and uh, uh, sit back so i always want to wade through the troubles and come out uh, with uh, flying colors so that's what viva mm-hmm. also does so i hope it will be inspirational uh, for other uh, women also and a uh, uh, different yes, thing i yes. got from the readers yeah. no i was thinking like uh, since i've given a protagonist as uh, a female i thought it will be uh, resonating well with uh, women only but then uh, my friends and my uh, reviewers and all they said uh, see your book is actually the secrets you know the five secrets they are applicable for everybody only thing is you have explained this with a female protagonist that's it but otherwise it is applicable and uh, i've got great reviews on uh, amazon for my uh, books and i have also seen some good reviews uh, for your uh, book on amazon so what do the readers feel about your book so i'm also a reader so i gave you my review so other uh, reviews if you have you can share okay so right now i don't have uh, any such review ready uh, but then uh, what i what i want to share is that uh, you know uh, it's the reviews uh, that i got from everybody that uh, how yeah. they uh, after reading the books the reading these stories yeah, that yeah, are that's what uh, yes so these kind of stories have really changed their perspective to look at mm. the uh, their physical health because the purpose of my writing the book is to shift the focus of uh, the readers from the physical health to emotional health you know so combine both together no not just keep on the physical health because wahan bahut bhag rahe ho bahut running ho raha hai that you know and yeah. even that is, in the book i write that even that is causing the problems because you are stressed that mera se yoga nahi ho raha you are stressed that i am not done yeah. work today you are stressed that i have not <laughs> taken yeah. now you know, my health will suffer because but you know there yeah. are times you can escape it's okay you can relax and uh, so emotionally if you are strong so even if you miss your gym even if you miss your uh, sometimes walk or you you know many other things in life maybe you have not eaten the kind of food that the doctor is recommending or even miss your medicine mm. but if you are mm. emotionally strong then uh, that difference will not reflect in your uh, you know physical health uh, it will not affect what i mean to say so i think they mm-hmm. have given me the review that after reading the book that has really changed in their life and also now they are in control of their emotions because as you also mentioned you like that line you know that emotions can grow in any direction if we want they can grow yeah. negative as a negative tree or if we want they can grow as a positive tree so the choice yeah. is ours thoughts we cannot yeah. control thoughts are automatic but emotions yeah. is something we can immediately you know we can know how to feel we know how to feel right. we can either feel sad or we can feel happy no so your yeah. choice is okay. so this is, so this is the review yeah. many people have given me that uh, these are some That's the stories <laughs> yeah, yeah and uh, one more thing you must see we feel elated as uh, authors no when we see such uh, reviews the kind of impact we make on the Uh, readers no? so yes. I, i think that gives that fulfillment uh, for us the, uh, for the efforts we put in as authors and uh, for all that we want to give the readers and when they uh, take it uh, properly from the book no it feels really good for us as an author right so yes. what message uh, uma do you have for the listeners for listening to so, 
yeah so personally i just want to give uh, the review the you know the this thing only one message that please go ahead read many books uh, read e books yeah. read uh, uh, paper bags listen to audio books although i have not brought out audio books even I, but i am an audio book person also i listen to many audios on a daily basis and uh, so just like nitya has brought out her podcast listen to podcast the idea is to keep learning in life keep expanding yeah, keep exactly. so never feel stuck and go ahead and expand your life and live a better life oh, what do you nitya your yeah. message yeah my message would be uh, whatever i am practicing i feel i it will be easy for me to uh, give that as a message uh, so uh, it is always good to be independent in life and uh, be self motivated and concentrate on your personal development uh, that is self development because uh, that is what we been uh, ignoring all these days i find i find this in many people actually not only women even men also they are not concentrating on their personal development but see when you look back at 60 years no when you look back at life you want a life full of uh, regrets or rewards mm -hmm. only when you concentrate on personal development you have a life full of rewards whatever struggles you face in life you will have a life full of rewards but when you look back if you if there is a life full of regrets just think deep about that it would be because you didn't concentrate on personal development and my message to you is personal development uh, is one goal if you keep that as a goal i am sure you will attain all the others all the other goals because that one goal is enough for you once mm -hmm. you concentrate on that i am sure you'll be able to attain all the other goals because i have uh, personally done that so um, uh, being an it being an it professional or a writer or podcaster or teacher or trainer anything is possible if you concentrate on personal development because your goals are nothing without you right so you have yeah. to concentrate on personal development so that's my uh, uh, major uh, message uh, to the listeners because i am also building a course on the same grounds in the future i'll be uh, publishing that also so okay. that's my message uh, to the listeners great, so great. yeah so thank you uh, nitya thank you for uh, sharing all the best for your future ventures future this course as well as the book and uh, i think the uh, time we can close and i just we just can thank our uh, listeners hopefully this yeah. uh, broadcast uh, uh, brought some value Ho hopefully this broadcast uh, created uh, you know some momentum in your life for personal development and emotionally to be charged and uh, you know some brought some happiness and joy to your life and uh, we need yeah. i and nitya decided we'll uh, try to do more of these uh, kind of talks yeah. uh, on a regular basis and we'll uh, bring create a platform where uh, you know we can have an interactive sessions also so keep yeah. uh, send, giving us review what you want to listen what you want to see whom you want to meet maybe we can invite somebody on the show yeah sure so hai na nitya so yeah, yeah. definitely Yeah. So thank you for watching. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, stay motivated and please remember to enjoy your life.